Universal Coatings Invest. We talk about investing, finance, and professional development for today's items only. The investment gun talk today will be Tim Sixty Teach. This is my second posting as of today. Respect to recording time of 4:31 p.m. on the Eastern Time. The Tim country three thousand seven fifty three dollars. That about two point five seven percent so far. On the overall crypto market, with selective altcoin, it seems like some of them are up. You know, slightly with respect to Dogecoin, more prominently up about six point three seven percent, while Solana, XRP, Polkadot, Algorand, and Shiba Inu, which I am also covering today, uh, up respectively, uh, leaning more towards like up about like one percent to two percent on the overall spectrum uh, for these respective uh, altcoins. So on, e- on Ethereum, uh, with respect to some of the news that's been uh, you know picking up on the last. I would say six hours so far, and apologies for posting a little bit late. My day has been just uh, overwhelming. I have about like eight meetings back to back so far, and uh, I think my throat is just a little shot right now because uh, I've just been talking nonstop for basically forty-five minutes uh, sessions uh, for eight sessions so far, and. Technically, if you include my first video this morning, that was like another session, and then now I'm speaking another one. So I've talked about like close to about just ten hours straight, uh, so far, including talking to my family members and friends and et cetera, et cetera. So I I feel like I just been talking the entire day. Uh, so I'm actually really exhausted right now. Um, and I'm you know, but but anyways, you know, the clock still still goes on and uh. I, I promise you guys to be reporting on the news front. So let's take a look at the technicals and the news front. So on Ethereum news, uh, about two hours ago, talking about Bazinga, two hours uh, with respect to an anonymous crypto wallet moves a hundred and eleven point nine seven million dollars worth of Ethereum. So it seems like there are some interesting transactions. Uh, this is not really transactions, but more of an exchange. On the commerce,、uh, and we don't really know with respect to what wallets this was、uh, transacted to, or which what what type of wallet was this used for.、Uh, we just know that that was a large transaction, or can we even call it a transaction, an exchange, if you may, with this large amount that was moved earlier、uh, this week. The next news is on Decrypt three hours ago. Why a crypto punk's owner turns down. Nine point five million dollars in Ethereum for his NFT.、Um, so this is talking about with respect to uh, the um, the cyber the crypto punk owner、um, on his、uh, point of view with respect to the current price level that Ethereum is currently being sustained at the moment. And basically, the whole article is talk about his rationale on the technical analysis we've been talking about. Right? It seems like. He has the comparable、um, perspective, you know, saying that we should see technically more sell-off coming for Ethereum, and that's the reason why he turned down、uh, the offer of the nine point five million in in a transaction based out of Ethereum, but he prefers to be state, you know, holding in probably cash or U.S. currencies or other asset class, if you may. So it's interesting to know, but is it really substantive? Um, and does he really know anything about technical analysis? It doesn't really talk much about that in this decrypt article. But I mean, that's a pretty big statement, right? To not accept nine point five million dollars in Ethereum. So this is a trivial news, a non-substantive one, but something good to know. Obviously, with the large amount that is being,、uh, you know, exchanged for. The next one is on Bitcoin. As three hours ago, talk about the number of Ethereum addresses that holds one plus Ethereum reaches new all time high. It seems like more and more investors are, you know, interested in Ethereum now. And by quantitative, you know, amount, you know, just to keep head counts, there seems to be more numbers of people investing at least one Ethereum、uh, in comparisons to history. Right, and this is a capture of the quantitative numbers that、uh, they are recording in the past weeks. So it seems like there is a lot more percolations of the numbers that's being counted per headcount perspective.、Um, and this is something we have known, we have noticed, right, because of the sustainability that we have formed at the three thousand four hundred seventy-two dollars. So it's not a surprise that more people are more interested in Ethereum、uh, in a supply and demand perspective. 
So it's good for us uh, as long-term investors. That means that technically it would translate into a lower bottoms when we are experiencing more sell-off coming, which, you know, per the technical analysis, that still seems to be imminent based on the trends and the momentum of how the chart is setting up right, setting up right now. The next one is on CNBC. Another regurgitation news coming out from Mark Cuban. He says that Bitcoin will be a safe haven to crypto. Um, and he's basically putting a step of approval for Bitcoin again. He also talks a little bit about Ethereum as well as the secondary hedge. You know, kind of like a silver to a gold or like basically Robin to Batman type of affectation or Andy Richter to Conan O'Brien type of affectation as well. This is like kind of their media type of a spin onto this, you know, dual relationship, if you may. And the next one is on Bazinga. Um, talk about the ultimate diamond hands. CryptoPunk's owner rejects a record of $9.5 million bits in Ethereum. And not regurgitation news that we have already talked about, so no need to mention this again. Um, and the next one is talking about with respect to Coin Telegraph, based on some of the analysts that's been um, you know studying up on the technical front on e on ETF, they are suggesting that ETF could potentially reach to six thousand five hundred dollars in Q four. Um, so we don't, I, 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 you know, this is something we have to keep an eye out on, right? If we are really gonna see a crash coming, like a really really sudden crash, crash down all the way to the 3,150 or 2,750 in the near term, let's say within the next couple of weeks, right, as we sell down, I think in Q4 um, to reach 6,500 could be logical, but how drastic would that be? And how logical would that be, you know, in translation to see that type of volatility coming, right? Because technically we have about like, what, maybe two and a half months left in this year. So for them to, you know, quote 6.5K in Q4, it might be a little bit more of an um, ambitious goal, if you may, right? We've been saying that the technicals, it needs to go through that oscillation. We can just skip steps, right? So if there's a huge well manipulation, let's just put it that way, everybody start throwing into it, into Ethereum specifically, after the FOMC meeting that we're going to be hearing in November, yeah, I think that's possible, but how likely can that happen? Right, so it seems like this uh, quote of 6.5k in Q4 can be a bit of a reach uh, per our technicals, as we, we've been talking about. It has to logically make sense right, for, for me to even buy into their um, media affectation, if you may, right? So this could potentially just be another bullish, non-substantive news, right? But feel free to take a read. Uh, I, I, you know, based on the read, uh, you know, I think quantitatively, it doesn't really quite logically make sense based on how we've been explaining so far. So, I mean, it's good to read, you know, for your own personal informative sense, but is this something you could truly back or do they have any evidentiary support? I would say not really based on my personal uh, point of view. So that's pretty much on the news. So let's take a look at the momentum right now. You can see that we're still at the 61 of 70 and we are basically levitating in the middle right now. Uh, this is not really a level, right? The 3,743. The real level is really is either at the 3,850, which we got to, and that's why we were hovering around that level, you know, per our technical analysis we've been talking about in weeks now. The next level, because of the fact that we're forming a well back and we're curving down, we need to deplete the RSI, that the next level is ideally at the 3,472. 3,150, uh, 3,000, which is technically a flat number, 2,072 and 2,450, respectively, right? And I think right now, the sell-off should be imminent. And I hope that the 6,500 will come true, but that will, make, that will mean that we need to crash really, really harshly in the near term um, and for us to recuperate. But it will be way too drastic and it wouldn't make any sense in a normal course of cadence unless there's well manipulations in play so that's something we have to be mindful of right so respect to bitcoin we are still selling off the well back is still curving we're still at the 76 out of 70 so i think ideally coming down to again right to a more of a logical level would be the 52 ideally at the 47 or the 48 thousand dollars 43 thousand or 44 thousand 43 nine 
three nines, basically technically forty four, forty thousand, right? And ideally, if we're gonna go through the whole market cycle and deplete all the way back down to thirty five, I think forty three, forty to thirty seven will be very logical resistance levels, right? We're extremely high on the rocket ship right now. We run out of air, so it's important that we hold off at the moment and right? not chase the pump. Right, and I think we are still struggling uh, at the moment. Obviously, above the 60k, which is a monumental level, which we broke, and we saw that early signs of breaking. So this is definitely not a good sign, and everything is screaming overbought right now. So definitely be careful. Dogecoin up about 5.5% um, right now. We tested that early today at the 27. Uh, and right now with the 60 out of 70, so not the most ideal level to buy it. Ideally, ideally because of the fact that we're forming a, a slow death cross slowly as we come back down, I think ideally at the 21 and then the 20 cents level would be more ideal. Cardano uh, is having a lag effect. Again, I can keep saying this already. Uh, one, 210 will be the next level. 205 will be the next level. And I think we're covering down right now, so it's actually very logical that we'll see 205 very, very soon. If we break that 205, we'll go to 187, 145, respectively. Solana right now is uh, struggling. And you can see that we are basically you know, being sustained by public investors. And we are forming the coverture down, so we're slowly covering back up. Uh, so right now, I do see some bullishness happening because we are not that overbought and not that oversold either. So ideally covering back up to hit the 176 would be the first level logical resistance. And ideally even 195, trying to get to the 200, but not enough to get there and the sub to sell back down. XRP went at 108 right now. I think ideally by 110 because of the death cross we're forming at the moment at the 50 would be very logical. So 101, 93, 88 would be the next logical steps. Polkadot, we are um, struggling. We are forming a huge while back, so sell-off is definitely imminent. It will be relatively bloody as well. And we're at the 63. So ideally, buy at the 33, uh, at the 25 for myself, for my personal risk aversion. Algorand, we're forming a death cross right now, so ideally buy at the 165, and then the 150 would be more logical. Uh, Shiba Inu is something that I'm you know, covering you know, as a new... Um, crypto currency i never really uh studied this before but i studied a little bit earlier today it seems like the real level right now is not sustainable because we are forming a death cross right now so more self is definitely imminent uh i think ideally first level to be going down to be the 2044 uh 41 uh 2042 apologies and i, I don't want to go to like the 0 0.000 whatever so i'm just going to say like the the numbers that go subsequent to the ending so 2042 would be the first level uh, i think we might touch a little bit on the exactly 1375 but i wouldn't touch it until it reaches back down to the 822 level which is more logical especially with crazy overbought right now and the humpback is huge so self is going to be extremely sharp and we're going to see a very bloody days ahead for shiba inu so with respect to the uh, the cheat sheet, again, it's not the most logical and the, not the most uh, visual obvious either. So let's ignore this. And I think, you know, technically, if we want to be sustaining some rally going forward to break all-time high, we need to be in anger stage and depression stage. That's just a matter of facts, right? And the monetary circulation needs to come back by recuperating, by selling us off down first until we could get back to hope, optimism, belief, and thrill. With respect to the price target uh, per um, my addition for Shiba Inu, these are the respective levels that I've identified so far. Again, these are the respective levels when we hit to an ideal RSI and MACD perspective. Okay, and that's how I typically would like to risk manage my profile, my portfolio as well. So feel free to take a picture, feel free to use this as your reference against my risk aversion, not for everybody. And hopefully this is helpful. I'm actually going to go take a break, take a rest for the day now. I'm really, really exhausted. But really appreciate it for dropping by. And feel free to give me a shout if you have any questions. I'm probably not going to be talking, but I could still be responding to messages. I really appreciate you and stay tuned for the cup.